It's a crystal clear blue day in Hollywood. I'm Kevin Dees. Welcome to your daily trend wire, where every day we keep you updated on everything that's trending and topical out there. Today's trend wire kicks off with the FBI's warning to business owners. Pay close attention to this. People who pay for small items, such as a cup of coffee, could be potentially terrorists. So next time you're at Starbucks, you might want to reconsider paying for your coffee with a credit card. Otherwise, you might find yourself at the allegedly now defunct Guantanamo Bay being, a, being tried as a terrorist. Good times. Actually, not good times. College students around America have been waving giant blow-up photo heads as a distraction for college players on the court. But down in Alabama, one student took this trend to a whole nother level. His name is Jack Blankship, and he's blown up his own contorted head to wave at Crimson Tide basketball games. Now, it's an unusual sight, and as a matter of fact, it's drawn so much attention that it's made him quite a celebrity on campus. His Twitter followers are through the roof. He's a celebrity, like I said. He has hundreds of fans now. Here's my own version, however, you know, because there's lots of college in America, colleges in America, and Jack's got the Crimson Tide unlocked, but what do you think of this? Yeah. Huh? I think this should be a trend. Tell me what you think at just now trending because we want to know what you think. The terrorist known to the world as the underwear bomber bandit is being sentenced to life today. He'll most likely be sent to a Supermax federal prison in Ohio. Supermax, just in case you didn't know, is home to many celebrity bombers, for example, the Unabomber, the Oklahoma City Bomber, as well as a variety of infamous Al-Qaeda operatives. Now, the underwear bomber bandit's biggest punishment will be dealing with the isolation for the rest of his life at Supermax. Lastly today, Nicki Minaj is finally coming out and talking about her controversial Grammy performance, which included, in case you missed it, dancing priests and exorcism and a levitation, saying that, quote, this is what she said, I don't know what the big issue is. You know how people write plays and movies? That is what I did. I wrote that and I gave the world a tiny little preview of what's to come, and so I have to perform it on the set in which it would be in the movie, right? She said. Makes perfect sense to me. Hey, for more stories that are trending, log on to trendwire.com. Be sure to follow us on Twitter, at Just Now Trending. I'm Kevin Dees, and we'll see you tomorrow.